Hey, what's up, guys? We're always talking about Blu-rays and 4K Blu-rays and HDR and things of that nature. What I want to take a second is to go over some of our collection, thinking about your existing collection of movies, those of you that still buy Blu-rays, your standard definition collection and your 1080p collection. Now, for me, these are my Blu-rays. These are actually only half of the ones that I own. The other half are upstairs with my HDVD collection. Um, but some of these titles, excuse the creaking floor as usual, you know, you have your Alien, you have Running Man, you have some of your older films. These are all the kids' movies, but down to, you know, movies that Taxi Driver, Scarface, these are movies that they remaster for 1080p, yet they didn't always look amazing. And that looks even worse as the TV has gone from 65-inch plasma to a 75-inch 900E. For many of you, that could be a 49-inch LED to a larger OLED or a larger display. So we're going to go into some of the settings. I know I've done a couple of videos like this, but I found what works well for me, and you guys can try that if you have the 900E. But... It's a shame that, you know, that's pretty much all I have for 4K right there. That's really all I have. I have a couple more upstairs, but I'm not really buying a lot of 4K discs for I have, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of Blu-rays. And on top of that, upstairs, I also have many more and then DVDs on top of that. So we'll go over to the display now and just run some quick settings. All right, guys these, setting, guys, these settings are primarily for those much older, softer Blu-rays or even standard definition DVDs that you want to watch that are extremely soft. So this isn't for your high quality DVDs or Blu-rays. These are for those older ones. This is one of my favorites, Guilty Pleasure, Christine, Stephen King movie, same with Cujo. Movies that spring to my mind are Highlander, Godfather. Um, some of those classic films just weren't meant to be on displays that are 900 to 1,000 nets. So this, these are the settings that I have for your softer, older Blu-rays or DVDs. So you're going over to your picture settings. Again, these are for the Sony 900E. I'm on Cinema Home. Auto picture mode, I am in 24p sync to keep the motion pretty smooth. Um, brightness I'm at 10 now guys I know we're gonna scoff at the brightness being low but remember these movies again weren't meant to be pushed super high okay color I just have at 50 you guys can do what you want with that advanced settings contrast I have at 90 now you can take the contrast a little bit lower lower which helps with the grain I believe my boy Gabe Trinidad was sending me you know that as a way he gets rid of grain in HDR movies. I like my contrast at 90, so I will do a video for him and his settings. Um, gamma I have at minus one. You can keep gamma down another if you want to get rid of grain entirely, but I like it a little bit brighter than that, but you can go all the way down if you want. Remember, these movies were intended to be dark. A lot of these movies were shot also on not the best film either or best stock. So heading down to black level, this for me has been the biggest difference. I have black level at 46. This is really, in my opinion, brightness. And when this is up higher, this is when things tend to look a lot softer for me. So I've taken this down to 46. Going down too low does crush the blacks, but I do find that it's a really, really nice image. Um, black adjust I have off for this, advanced contrast off. Auto local dimming I have on high. Extended diamond range for me on 1080p's always off. Now clarity, I do have sharpness up a little bit. You can actually have it down to 50, but some of these older movies tend to look a little bit blurry. So I had this up to 60, but you can have it at 50. Reality creation, I do have off for really noisy films. Random noise reduction, I do have on auto. Digital noise reduction, I do have it auto. Smooth gradation, I have off. Um, for motion, I do have true cinema. And that's it, man. Those are the settings, guys. And I hope you enjoy them and try them. Tell me know what you think. And I will talk to you guys soon.